Well, good morning, everybody. Good to have you here with me this morning. I'm at the park. A couple of guys working on their soccer skills behind me this morning. It is 8.30. It is 7.30. and eight, It's not 8.30. It's 7.30 in Phoenix, Arizona, which is when we get together in the morning. I didn't give an update about Friday. For those of you who watched Friday, we did this experiment about giving away donuts from Alicia Donuts. Well, that didn't go very well. It just didn't. I don't know. We had like five people come and each get three donuts, but that's okay. We didn't give away many donuts. I tried. Um, the book of Zephaniah, we're moving to the next prophet. Yesterday we were reading in Habakkuk, and now we've moved to the next prophet in the Old Testament, or the New Test, the Old Testament, and his name is Zephaniah, a prophet to the nation of Israel. And what we read in chapter 3, and verse 16 and 17, it says, Do not fear, O Zion. Do not let your hands hang limp. The Lord your God is with you. He's mighty to save. He will take great delight in you. He will quiet you with his love, and he will rejoice over you with singing. Now that's a great scripture, isn't it? He'll take delight in you. He will quiet you with his love. How many need to be quieted with the love of God today? He will quiet you with his love and rejoice over you with singing. Did you know God sings? He knows how to sing. He created it. He created the melody. He created the song that he puts in our hearts. The Bible says he can sing over us. Now, um, there are several people, not only some of my watchers, but other people in the church that are being diagnosed with COVID and we need to be in prayer for those people because God still delivers. He is still able to do exceedingly abundant beyond what we ask or think. He's still the God who says not to live in fear. I have not given you a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. So we need to hang on to that scripture that God has not given us fear. But what he has given us is assurance that he loves us that he will quiet us in his love and that he will sing over us and rejoice over us today. So that's our scripture today. Let's pray together, God. We are thankful this morning that we serve a big God who's bigger than all of the things that come against us in life, God. And I pray for those that have family, friends, or even them themselves, God, have been quarantined or are uh, um, positive or been tested God for COVID Lord I just pray your touch in their life God you're not going to let them walk through it alone you are there with them you are there to lead them and guide them God you are a stronghold and a place to run to a place of safety and we do that today we pray these things in Jesus name amen well thank you guys for being with me I did, uh, I did find my tripod. Remember yesterday? I couldn't, I couldn't hold my camera still. Let me see. Is, whoa, with us. I turned my camera around. That's okay though. All right, my daughter Elizabeth is watching. Okay, okay. Let's see, Maria says good morning. And Biro says good morning. And and my wife says hello. Francis, good morning to you. Mercy, I see you. Cindy says good morning. Good morning to you. Cheryl says good morning. Maria, Vera. Hey, thank you guys for being with me this morning. I hope you have an awesome day in Jesus. God bless you.